But Ranbir, it's not just the career that came apart, isn't it? You had this very public breakup with Katrina earlier this year, and somehow the perception stuck that you came away from it unaffected, that you're emotionally distant. You know, Rajiv, this is a little bit of a uh, trick question to answer because, you know, whatever I say on any platform, it's, I think it's grossly misconstrued. You know, uh, a lot of interpretations are taken of it. You see, when my personal life and over the years I've realized and understood that is very dear to me and, and especially, uh, uh, you know, what my relationship with Katrina is, what my relationship was always going to be. It's very dear to me because I think uh, after my parents, she's been the most influential, most uh, motivational, uh, entity in my life and I hold that very dear you know so I don't want to uh, speak anything about it there is no negativity there is no sense of bitterness uh, uh, you know where that's concerned so there's nothing to talk about you know and I think what happens but between two people you, surely you've read this perception of course of there being a distance that he's not affected it's fine you don't need to know if I'm affected or not you know as long because as because you've made no effort to, to change that perception I can't sit in every interview and explain myself, explain my heart, uh, especially where my relationship is concerned because uh, it was really uh, punctured, you know, by a lot of things, you know, by, by absolutely baseless uh, rumours and reports and, and perceptions and point of views uh, and all of that and it hurt but uh, I don't want to clarify them. You know, I just feel so it doesn't ask you pointedly, Ranbir, was it hard for you, the breakup? Because this was obviously not just dating. You guys had moved in together. Was it hard for you? You know, the thing is, I'm... Like I said, uh, I'm not even saying it's... I haven't even said I've broken up. You know, I haven't said anything. Because I don't find the need to say that. You know, it's like I said, it's too dear to me. I don't want to talk about it. And, uh, uh, yeah, there's nothing to say. Was it hard going to work after knowing that everyone's read about it and they're looking to see how you're dealing with it? Not at all actually. I think Katrina and me had uh, amazing creative energy. Mm. Uh, we've always had, you know, working with her, like I said, has always been so much of fun. Apart from the fun, the kind of passion and work ethic that she has, I haven't seen that in many people in this industry. And, uh, uh, you know, when we shot in Morocco, we shot back in Bombay. Uh, there was no awkwardness because it, because it happened, you all went back to shoot Jagat Jasus fairly soon after. There's no awkwardness. As a matter of fact, it's, it's, it's amazing working with her and I hope that I can continue working with her in the future. Jagga, because that was going to be my next question, you know, so I was going to ask, do you think you'll reach that place with her as you have with Deepika, where there is a comfort, the way you all have gone back to being friends and colleagues and you all can make even romantic movies together? Absolutely, we're actors, you know. We're not here to bring our personal lives and our personal emotions. When we come on set, we bring the character's emotions. And however hard it is, that's a job, you know. Right. And uh, when the case of Katrina, there is, she just makes it easy, you know. There is no, uh, it's not awkward, it's not weird. Uh, she just brings her A-game every day on set. And that just kind of, uh, you know, in return, I bring my A-game. So I think we have a great creative partnership.